<laughs> Welcome back. All right, look, it's something that we all do, although not intentional. We buy groceries and we allow them to go bad and toss them in the trash. Wasted money. Guilty. Right. So we have Jenny Braddock, and she's a nutrition instructor at UNF, and she's also here to join us from Native Sun Kitchen, and in she's here Sun to Sun help Kitchen. us. There it Native is. Sun, we are here. And so we've got to dive right in, though, because I mean, I am so guilty of this, and right. I know so many people are at home. So you have some ways to conquer this. Right. So we don't have waste. So, so let's start with shopping. Right. So most Americans throw out about 30% of the fruits and vegetables that they um, <sighs> buy. And as a whole, we're wasting about a third of the food, both from home and restaurant. And the wow. statistic, if we could reduce that by even 15%, we could probably feed over 25 million Americans a year. That's mm. the important thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is. So we want to use that food for others. So the first place where we can do is at the store. Okay. And that's shopping with a list. Okay. So as dietitians, we say a lot, shop with a list for a lot of reasons, but going to the store with a, with a plan. Their goal yeah. is to get you to buy mm -hmm. as much as possible, but if you actually aren't going to use that or have a recipe to use that food and it just goes bad, is it really saving you money? So have that list prepared and buy only what you think you actually will use. Yeah. Don't go to the store hungry either. No, oh. no. For many reasons and definitely <laughs> for this as well. Worst thing you can do. So the next thing is in your kitchen, Okay. try to shift your mindset to cooking only what your family or you will actually eat. I think sometimes as Southerners, we think it's like a sin to run out of food, but mm -hmm. then we overproduce and we're throwing out a lot of our leftovers. So bring out the measuring cups and measure some of those ingredients. Even try using some smaller cooking vessels. Think about the last time you made a meal. Was there excess? Just cut back a little bit more and make only what you need for that particular meal. All right. So those All are right. easy ways to start at home. I love that. Okay, so what about preserving? Because the preserving, right. this is a cool unit we want yeah, to get to. Yeah, This is really cool. For sure. So storage of fruits and vegetables can make a difference. Technology's come a long way to help us because nobody wants to throw it out because it went bad. Mm -hmm. So we can start high tech. This is actually a, Vita, a vacuum Vita. Um, food storage box and it vacuum seals your food. It's very easy to close and shut. It automatically vacuum this seals it. And it's great for things like potatoes. We have tomatoes in here as well as apples. So I've used this with my tomatoes and they've lasted for 10 days and still been amazing. Um, and so the nice thing too is it has a little extension cord that you can vacuum seal into boxes like this. You can store oh, okay. fruits and vegetables, vacuum seal, or even leftovers. So you package your leftovers up, vacuum seal it to take to work the next day, and it stays really So it's just fresh. vacuum sealing. There's no that's preservatives the, or anything. No right preservatives. It's, so it's just it's taking out the air, food. which tends on. to um, expedite the ripening process. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. And it hooks right into the back. It's really easy to use for that, which I like that. So removing that air extends the life. The mm. company says up to five times longer than standard storage. Wow, I like that. So that's high tech. If you're not yeah. quite ready for that, low tech there's some great new storage containers like these Rubbermaid Freshworks boxes, which I have used with um, a lot in my in my refrigerator, and they really help as well. So berries, fresh greens, carrots, anything within these. These are a little bit more affordable on the lower price end, and they really work as well. So it's better than just keeping it in the bag or container you bought it at the store. It will help extend the life. I like that. Okay, well, so moving on to recipes. You're saying recipes are important? Yeah, so having a few recipes in your repertoire that you can use to, to use up some produce or or meat and like recycle it into other meals is really helpful mm. and then the other thing I want to encourage people to do is if you do go through and clean out your pantry at springtime it's a good time to do that yeah. instead of just thinking immediately let me pitch it think about donating your food the term that we're using now is food recycling yeah. so is there a way to give that food to others and you might notice on the on the back of a can a use by day or a sell by date okay. mm -hmm. and that does not mean that products expired that's just oh. the recommended amount of time to eat it by but you you are still able to eat it still usually safe so if you're not going to use that food or maybe you just purchased it on a whim donate it to a local food bank instead of just pitching it so, so you can give it to a local food bank even though the best and sell yes. by date is expired yes. oh okay so it's different than an expiration date oh, expiration okay. date is, is if it says expires and that's hard gone. and fast the sell other by. ones is so about quality best best. and for either the consumer to buy it at the store or the, the store to sell it themselves. So it can still be used. So at UNF, we do have a food bank that's for our students. Oh. We welcome any donations there, but there's certainly many other organizations in the community and they need food at other times than just the holidays when most people are thinking mm -hmm. about and that. And it's, it's, it's about good. a mindset shift. You know, it it's, is. it's not just about saving money. Like you said, 25 million people. It's about, you know, the food waste that we all waste and, and, and allowing others, so many people out there, you know, to, to get food that don't have it. 
it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And this is simple steps. Again, I can just start at the store and in our own kitchens with small little decisions that I really feel do make a big difference. And by the way, uh, other little hacks. Uh, my wife is great at it. She's an am amazing cook. But when you have stuff left, there's apps and there's recipes. Just hit your thing, punch in what you have, mm -hmm. and it'll give you a recipe. Yeah. It's, really it's easy. so easy these days. Jenna, you're full of knowledge. We Thank appreciate you. you. Thanks so much. Thanks, Thanks so for joining much. us. I think I'm going to get one of these.